In these days, we are all getting wishing for a good year through our digital means. But just a few years ago, people used to mail their greeting card for the Jewish New Year by using printed cards for post. Let's follow the history of the Jewish people along the 20th century through the images on the printed card that were sent along these 100 years. The German Jews saw the Christian card for Valentine's Day, for Christmas, and actually invented a new custom in the Jewish world, mailing greeting cards for the Jewish New Year. It's interesting to compare those cards with a greeting card that produced in Poland. These cards reflect the traditional character of the Polish communities. During the first decade and mainly the second decade of the 20th century, the mass immigration of European Jews to America is the prevalent topic on the greeting card. We can see depictions of the ships that carry the immigrant to the New World, to America. During the 30s and the 40s, we can see how the Second World War, the Holocaust, brought an end to the greeting card that produced, printed in Europe. But the immigrant that arrived from Europe to the land of Israel brought with them this custom. We can see two main topics on the cards that produced here in the land of Israel. One of them is a military motives, a depictions of heroic battles. Under the influence of the independence war in 1948, another topic was depiction of the agricultural settlement here in Israel. On the cards that produced in Israel towards the end of the 20th century, we can see how the Israeli society become exposed to the American culture. We can see movie star or a pop singer as a hero of the Israeli youth. When we arriving to the end of the 20th century, the greeting card become irrelevant. We are all sending our greeting through the email and text messages. So those cards found their way to uh, private collections and also to museums, galleries as our uh, show here in the Israel Museum. I would like to wish you all a very good year.